Here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date to. Number one on the list is the Cheesecake Factory. Number two is Applebee's. Number three, this heifer here has created a movement on the internet. Hey guys, this is Alicia. It's been a while, but there have been quite a bit of things on my mind. Um, I believe that many of you have seen the, uh, well now viral video about me choosing to reject the Cheesecake Factory because I wanted more from my date. I want to, well, let me say this. It's interesting to me that just how a moment in time, right? <laughs> she trying to get them word gymnastics together. In case you don't know who this is, this is Cheesecake Factory Lady. Cheesecake Factory Lady went out on a date and felt as though she was too good to be eaten at the Cheesecake Factory. Now, mind you, the dude she went on a date with had already set up a nice little fun-filled day for them. He booked a nice restaurant and because she was one hour late for the previous restaurant, they lost their reservations. He tried to save the day and was going to take her to the Cheesecake Factory. Instead of being grateful that he didn't leave because she wasted his time, she decided to pull out her phone and start recording and had the audacity to let her date know why she was too good for the Cheesecake Factory. Go ahead and just clap it up. We've been watching for about a minute and six seconds now and she have yet to get to the point. She's trying her best to get these word gymnastics together to, to defend that bullshit, but um, let's let's go ahead and see what she got to say. Can shape how so many view you. And so I want to talk about I'm trying to remember I, bear with me guys so I can remember everything I want to say. She ain't saying um, I watched the comments, the shares that you guys, um, the opinions that you guys had, and I re have reflected on all of them, processed all of them that I was able to read. Just in case you notice my, my words are a little slurred and, um... My eyes is a little red. I might be moving a little woozy. I don't know. Uh, two days ago is my birthday. I'm finally getting a chance to celebrate. So I've been drinking some of this Hennessy Black. Shout out, shout out to them, man. It's not a sponsored video, but they can cut me a check. But definitely shout out to them, bro. And I'm happy I get to see another year. Okay? And further news, y'all see what's going on. Y'all see what's going on. Um, many of you have been vocal about how entitled I was, how I misused this man. And I want you to understand that my mission has always been for women, to empower women, um, Your for mission. women to feel respected, cared for. Um, not be misused, mis you know, or abused. Now this thinks she Martin Luther King. Now she thinks she Martin Luther King. Oh my God. Whoo. Boy. I told y'all. I told y'all them, them word gymnastics was coming. I told y'all them word gymnastics was coming. Now, she rebuked the Cheesecake Factory as a power move for all women.
I've seen and heard um, many a horror story, men and women, not just women, men and women. And I wanted to make sure that this was a topic that we brought attention to. Um, many of you interpreted uh, within, you know, interpretations that I saw. I want you to understand that this was never about exposing or embarrassing anyone. The purpose was... You exposed and embarrassed to, yourself. To foster learning and growth, right? But I've seen some interesting interpretations. And it has caused me some uh, more questions. Um, Bro, she has been speaking for three minutes and 42 seconds. Son, she has not said anything. Anything. Anything, bro. Like, I know I'm not tripping. She's out here trying to make us believe that she denied and denounced this Cheesecake Factory date to be a mortar in the struggle of the captivity. She is a freedom fighter. There have been some hurtful comments. What, people wanting to come for my job. It's interesting to me how angry someone can get about something. Things that don't directly affect them. I'm sorry. This one. I, yo, when you start putting stuff on camera... Um, you got us involved. Okay? Now you out here trying to act like it ain't none of our business, but you made it our business. Don't do that. Don't throw rocks and try to hide your hands. No! To the point where you want to be harmful, right? All while screaming respect. But because I am one who loves to discuss things, right? Who's always open to learn and grow. I've decided to sit down for an exclusive interview with Kevin Wesley. So guys, you're going to get your opportunity to... Come out. Talk with me and Jay. <laughs> Hold on, bro. I, I know this woman did not waste my f fucking time. She came on here and said a whole bunch of nothing to promote an interview. We ain't finna do that, bro. We ain't, we are not about to do that, bro. Yo, she has created a movement, son, and the movement is, to me, is stupid. But um, there's a list going around of restaurants that women 
refuse, refuse to go to on the first date. Let me go ahead and try to find this list because I, I just don't understand, bro. Why is everything so much about money, son? What happened to just catching a vibe with somebody? If I don't vibe with you, I'm going to have a hard time spending money on you. Here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date to. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to me to help me on my list. Number one on the list is the Cheesecake Factory. Number two is Applebee's. Number three, Chili's. Number four, Chipotle. Number five, Olive Garden. Number six, The Movies. The mo you can't go to the movies no more? Number seven, your house. <laughs> number eight, any fast food chain. Number nine, Buffalo Wild Wings. Number 10, Wingstop. Number 11, Red Lobster. Red Lobster? Bro, I'm, I'm not... Every celebration that my family had, we went to Red Lobster. You trying to tell me that wouldn't be a good first date spot? Damn. Number 12, a buffet. Number 13, IHOP. Number 14, Denny's. Number 15, the gym. Why can't we go to the gym? I feel as though that's different. I'll take you to the gym on the first date. You bitches want to eat but don't want to work out. <laughs> Number 16, churches. I ain't going to lie. You take you take your, your date to churches. You a savage. Number 17, Starbucks. That is crazy. Starbucks is on the list. Number 18, coffee dates. Number 19, ice cream dates. Number 20, family functions. I think that's that's messy. If you if you take your, your first date is at a family function. I think that's that's messy. Number 21, movie night, Netflix, Hulu, etc. Don't sleep. Yeah, if you come to the crib to watch Netflix, I'm trying to fuck. Uh, number 22, somewhere that requires a long drive. Number 23, bowling. Number 24, nightclubs. I think it's stupid to take your date to a nightclub. That's, that's the easiest way to get into a fight because that girl... Is not officially your girl, and she's gonna be giving all single energy, and the other dudes in the club is gonna sense that, and they're gonna try your whole situation, and yeah. So going to the club for a first date, no, that's stupid. Hookah bar, I think that's, I think that's, I agree with that. A bar for just drinks, I, that's sort of kind of agree with that. Waffle House. <laughs> Uh, sport events. What? You know what? That number 28 sport events, bro. I feel as though it depends on the, on the shorty. Like, if you're talking to a chick that likes sports, I don't see why, like, you find out what her favorite football team is and you take it to one of the games. Now, that... I'm going to be honest, I didn't know women were into football and stuff like that, and sports in general until I moved to the South. I did not know that until I moved to the South. Like, some of the women out here are the biggest football fans I've ever met. They know everything. Stats, plays, they, they know everything, bro. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't put that on the list. That That's stupid. There's some women that would actually appreciate that. But um, I want to say the only thing I can agree with here, I agree with a few of them, actually, but the nightclub, for sure. I'm Even if that's your girl, I don't think you should bring any woman that you're interested at the nightclub. I've seen some of the most ridiculous moments happen at the nightclub because a, a dude decides he want to bring his girlfriend or he decides he want to bring some chick that he's talking to. 